Hello and welcome to this video. Today we will be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, the 13 Pro Max is new and therefore has not had updates currently to improve benchmark performance and camera photos. Also, next February, Samsung will release the S22 series, which could perform better than the iPhones. Now that we have that out of the way, without further ado, let's get started. Design This is one category that is solely on opinion. Some might like the disappearing into the edge camera module on the Samsung, while others might like the two-tone alteration between matte and glass on the iPhone. One thing to notice, however, is that part of the iPhone build is made of recycled bottle caps, according to the launch event. For this category, it is mainly a draw. Though I prefer the iPhone for its help towards the environment. Battery According to various battery tests, the iPhone 13 Pro Max significantly outperforms the S21 Ultra. And the iPhone just had the 120Hz refresh rate update, as well as dynamic. However, I think there is a reason why Apple cranked it up so much. Apple is running out of things to do. If they were to add a 108 megapixel camera to their phones, it would barely provide any upgrade to the previous one. So, to sell a phone to more customers, they must make noticeable differences. Both against their old phones and the market. But what they have done certainly worked, lasting roughly two hours more than the S21 Ultra with the same settings, even with the Snapdragon version. To conclude, Apple definitely won this category. Display According to GSM Arena the iPhone has a Super Retina XDR OLED, 120Hz, HDR10, Dolby Vision, 1000 nits, HBM, 1200 nits, peak, display. Whereas the S21 Ultra has a dynamic AMOLED 2X, 120Hz, HDR10+, 1500 nits, peak, display, along with both phones having adaptive refresh rates. The screen size for the 13 Pro Max is 6.7 inches. 109.8 square centimeters, approximately 87.4% screen to body ratio, whereas on the S21 Ultra it is 6.8 inches, 112.1 square centimeters, approximately 89.8% screen to body ratio. The iPhone 13 Pro Max's resolution is 1,284 by 2,778 pixels. 19.5, 9 ratio, approximately 458 pixels per inch density. But on the S21 Ultra it is 1440 by 3200 pixels, 20 to 9 ratio, approximately 515 pixels per inch density. Finally, the Apple phone's protection is scratch-resistant ceramic glass. Oleophobic coating, wide color gamut and true tone. However on the Samsung it is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus and an always-on display chip currently. The iPhone beats the Samsung in terms of processing power. While I don't know the exact scores, even comparing with the Snapdragon 888 on the S21 Ultra, the iPhone 13 Pro Max heavily outperforms the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, making this category a clear win for Apple. Camera This is a draw. While the S21 Ultra seems to dominate the 13 Pro Max on paper, when taking proper photos, videos, and other things a camera needs to do such as portrait and night mode, it's a draw. That concludes the comparison. I think, in my opinion, overall, for maybe the first time in forever, Apple's flagship has beaten the Samsung. Taking the crown for best phone for probably the next two to three months until the S22 Ultra is released.
make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you will always be notified when a new video is announced.